welcome again to my channel and for today we are going to do a review for some new journals so as it says it's dotted notebook the 192 pages and 100 gsm so more details at the back so um basically what i love about this is the expandable inner inner pocket and 100 gsm which means it could hold watercolors so yeah let's get started with ripping out the yeah let's rip out the plastic because you know this real unboxing thing so it might take time because i'm trying to be careful because uh, the cutter might cut <laughs> some pages <laughs> okay so yeah it will just uh, take time to peel that off and and actually i love how the texture of the hard cover you know there, it's a fine line between hard cover and a soft cover so you can see there's a bit um i don't know what's that called on the edge but uh, there is a zemo brand uh, as well so it's very subtle zemo brand and of course in case of loss please return to me and it's not really that wide kind of page as you can see uh, it's a beige uh, um off white, uh, but still, you know, um, a good editing uh, app would do. And this is the uh, expandable inner pocket that I could use for receipts and important uh, documents. So later, I'm guessing I'm going to count if the 192 pages is legit, but I don't know. Whatever. So these are my markers, and you're going to use Stabilo pastel and titus gel pens which i bought in the sm department store for about three, uh, 350 pesos so yeah, i'm going to open this to show you the neon colors the glittery and the uh, metallic colors and this is crayola super tips that i'm favorite that's my favorite i'm sorry and the dong a my colors too and other pens that uh, was given to me or I bought it on national bookstore so I'm a king national uh, bookstore kind of girl so these are some of my extra pens that uh, I've recycling some uh, cans for it so, yeah going back 192 pages so yeah this is the part that I'm going to count them up are you ready so yeah, um, my technique here is I'm going to count it like a uh, one, two, three, four, five, another five. Oh, oh, I guess that's four. <laughs> so for the sake, okay, I'm not going to like literally, you know, count them all. So, but for the sake of this video, there is a hundred, no, ninety-four uh, leaves. I'm just writing them down you know, for the video to affect but uh, I think before I showed this video I already counted it because I'm trying to save up space on my camera so so yeah estimate I'm sorry for my handwriting okay so I'm now I'm going to show you my bullet journal essentials and I bought this uh, Stabilo pastel highlighters just the three colors because I'm not sure if I want to buy the Zebra Mild Liners or the new dupe of it by Dong A. So yeah, I'm a fan of Dong A. So hello Dong A. I'm just kidding. Okay, so um, aside from that, uh, so I have the Crayola Super Tips. And this is my pencil case, which I always bring with me whenever or wherever I go, rather. So I'm going to show you um, my essentials. And I know there are a lot, so I'm going to pick out seven of these uh, drawing pens. And uh, so yeah, um, I always have with me is the Artline drawing pen in point one, three, and seven. And then this is the Unipin in point five, so you know how thin it is. But I'm rarely using this because it's uh, running out of ink. And this one is a Pro Use. It's a brand of Pro Use by Point One as well. 
and this is the Sakura Micron in 0.2 so as you can see it's already fading out because it's I think it's over a year now and this is the uh, Zigga Koretake 0.2 and I love this one because um, it's perfect for outlining watercolors so this is my all fav all time favorite the pile of GTEC in 0.3 and this is the Tokyo Finds um, brush pen but I'm not using it as a brush pen I'm just using it as a highlighter and uh, outliner for my blender so this is a brush 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 pen from Pilot as well and this is again from Pilot it's a um, Pilot brush pen or touch pen so as you can see it's for um, a mini brush pen lettering so yeah and also I have a number two Mongol pencil in case I run out of um, uh, lead sticks uh, for my mechanical pencils as you can see and this one is a uh, brush pen as well I think this is from um, Kuretaka as well from Zeeo so it's a fine oh it won't focus so I'm sorry guys it won't focus but yeah it's still a brush pen and this uh, oh I forgot the name of this um, I was put in the name of this um, pen so it's another kind of brush pen and this is the Sakura jelly roll in white oh god the focusing is so bad yeah there you go jelly roll by Sakura it's white so it's for highlighting and writing and that so, so yeah basically that's it I'm just going to outline or lay them out. You know. Okay, so I'm almost done setting up the layout for Instagram. Oh yeah, this is the blue tape folder that I bought also in National Bookstore. I guess it's only for um Less than 100. So this is the tin can um, watercolor travel watercolor I don't know container that I made. So I got the tin can from a friend. It's a candy tin can. So she gave that to me. Okay, so this is a brush pen or aqua brush from Koretake. So um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you how I use it, but. I just put in a little uh, water so it's not enough for me to push out water so it became useless but you get the point so you can research how to use water brush but yeah that's it that's my DIY water travel watercolor thing yeah going back to their places yeah so, so yeah I always bring another uh, an extra brush pen as you can see Gosh, I love this hyperlapse videos. Okay, so when we are going to well set up my bullet journal last year, this is my bullet journal, and it was a it was the fourth quarter part of the year, and I just bought this uh, simple um, notebook that you know, dotted notebook that I bought in Changde. I've, oops, uh, I've been practicing. Oops, let me see that. I've been practicing um, bullet journaling, and this is my 2018 um, bullet journal contents. So, as you can see, there's a lot of collections, movies, books, what to learn, swatches. Yeah, bullet journal essentials. Oh, yeah, this is, yeah, Igo Paren and GTEC. So, GTEC versus Dong A Fine Tech. So, I'm going to do swatches uh, as well maybe in the part two but yeah basically that's the content i want in my 2018 bullet journal setup okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to give you just a glimpse of my recent 
a DIY is a shoe rack and then I have tons of um, empty cans or empty con empty con containers which I used it as you know pen holders I hope you enjoyed this bye